So on to one of my favourite little topics, um, cocooning. So Faith Popcorn is a US futurist. Um, and her theory was that when times get really tough, um, we, our social, we socialise less and we retreat to our home base much more. And then we fill our home base with things that make us feel good. Um, we fill it with electrical goods, we, make, we do DIY projects, we do home crafts. So I haven't done a search on macrame, but I assume it's going through the roof. Um, and it usually occurs after large upheavals like 9-11 um, the global financial increase. So this translates into a number of different things. So the first one is restaurants. I thought the whole food sector is really interesting. So I expected to see restaurants drop off. I expected to see takeaway food drop off. And I'm actually seeing different, um, different things. So, so grocery and alcohol, which is the supermarkets, the etc., has, has jumped, has increased. But restaurants have stayed pretty strong, the restaurants and catering sector. So it sort of didn't convince me either way. Then what I did was built some custom categories. So I took the top food takeaway sites, the top reference sites and the top restaurants and then look, looked at them. Restaurants almost sort of stayed flat. And as you can see, the other ones all grew. So I still know clearer on whether we're actually seeing um, any semblance of cocooning. And then what I did, I added the top ten recipe sites. And all of a sudden it flattened out the other two quite substantially and highlighted that whole thing about being more into the home. We've already seen food programs take an enormous jump. And I'll show you the MasterChef effect. From here. So the climb was already going and it was already pretty sharp. But Master, MasterChef was just like serendipity. I mean, how much better could they have got the timing? It had just, the whole recipe thing had just gone through a steep climb and they've gone bang. So no wonder they made good money and they'll make great money second series. But as soon, maybe, I don't know, but maybe as soon as the, um, uh, the market changes and we get to more um, fast growth times, maybe that'll back off a little bit and the food programs won't be so popular. And maybe we won't see Gordon F. and Ramsay on TV so often. Um, the next one is, is looking at property. Uh, and I mentioned uh, house and garden seeing steep inclines. If I lay that with property, we're seeing property decrease in terms of the volume of time or volume of visits we're spending. Um, the jumps are obviously the seasonal peaks in September, October, November and February. Um, so it's indicating that, yep, okay, that, that sits property decreasing um, and house and garden increasing. Uh, electrical goods, um, probably helped a lot by the government stimulus packages. Um, everybody was advertising, I mean, Harvey Norman and all the electrical guys came out of the woodworks and started pushing very, very hard last November, December. Um, but they're obviously meeting a demand as well. Um, and travel's the other one that, you know, all of a sudden you saw everybody pitching $900 um, travel deals to try to get your uh, stimulus money out of your pocket. So electrical goods in the home make me feel good. It's not so bad, you know, the stimulus is not going to touch us and from an Australian perspective we've obviously been fairly lucky. From a travel perspective, what I've got here is the um, fastest search term, or the fastest moving search terms year on year. So looking at the difference um, back in last October, to this October to last o October, two years ago, sorry. And the reason I jumped back two years on this one is because if I went back to October last year, we are at the start of the global financial call right in the heat of it. So I wanted to go back to when times were more even and, and better. And the couple of things we've seen that have, that have really increased is one is TripAdvisor. Um, and TripAdvisor is a user generated or user reviews of travel and it has gone through the roof. Um, they're having a great success at the moment. <coughs> Local destinations all of a sudden have become a lot more prominent. So we can see, I think I've got it in, yeah, in green, so my fun Luna Park but we're also seeing, you know, what if Sydney and Melbourne, so we're seeing more um, specific thing about local destinations or domestic travel. And cruises is the other one. Cruises is phenomenal. It's, ever since the GFC hit, we've just noticed that cruises have, have gone straight up. You can contain the cost of your, your holiday. And they tend to be a little bit um, cheaper, a little bit closer to home. We're not talking about, from an Australian perspective, people heading off to uh, the Bahamas and cruising around the Bahamas. We tend to be talking the P&O and Princess Cruises around the region. So overall, I'd suggest that yes, uh, cocooning seems to exist um, at the moment. 
most of the things seem to add up to say that it is. And I, I imagine if I did the US data, I'd probably see more severe um, interaction and, and proof of that as well. And so the implication from a marketing perspective is to get the message right and to understand that, that backdrop. And so you can use data that we, see, we get from, from search data and from visitation data to test hypotheses, prove it or disprove it either way. Uh, and provide that evidence that enables you, you know, some stability in making uh, decision making. So just flick through a couple of things um, that I've covered and the points I'd really like to, to leave with you today. The retail is one of the leading destinations that Australians use, so there's even, and there's still plenty of growth. Um, if we look at the US and the UK and even New Zealand, uh, there's still plenty of growth potential for people to spend more time on retail. We just need to find ways of making it. Um, search is a major driver of visits into shopping classifieds and paid search should support all marketing activity. The other guys touched on it, you know, if you do a TV campaign, you're lifting awareness and awareness drives some sort of action um, generally. I mean, advertising works off the frequency model. So, so the natural place people to go and research is the web. So if you're doing a TV campaign, a radio campaign, a magazine campaign, if you do nothing else online, get and do paid search because people are going to be there looking for your brand, if, you've, if your advertising is working, of course. But that goes without saying. SEO is just a business imperative, full stop. It's just something you must do um, in conjunction with anything you do online. You need to be visible and you need to rely on more than, more than one or two tools to do it. Um, social networks become a major source of traffic for shopping classifieds. Generally sits as like the second most influential um, driver of traffic to most industries now too, which is uh, amazing how it's come from nowhere. So look, listen, learn, engage, participate, uh, find ways, find where your customers are and work with them uh, because you will build brand champions and advocates that'll, that'll aid. Global uh, opportunities, um, but also the, the flip side to that is the competitive pressure uh, that comes in, which Ross mentioned from ittybittybum.com today or whatever it was, what it was. So uh, be aware of that and establish tactics to, to deal with those. Um, track consumer behaviour and the impact of either government, um, government things, uh, political influences, economic influences, etc. because you'll be able to understand them as the trend starts and kicks. Um, so you can gain insights to your tactical, tactical advantage. And establish meaningful metrics um, you know, the old saying is if, you, if you're not measuring it, you can't manage it. So tools like Omniture Web Trends, Google Analytics from an internal perspective are absolutely vital. Uh, and tools like ours obviously provide that fantastic contextual understanding and some real business decision um, data for you. Uh, and that's it for me. Um, just one other thing, if I can, um, plug. Um, we've just released a, a report called The Rise and Rise of the Social Network. So if you're curious about uh, what's going on in the social space, um, you can head over to Hitwise and um, register for a download that or to watch a webinar we did uh, earlier in the week. So thanks for your time.